finally, I, I want to urge you today to ask my husband some tough questions. All right? That's the First Lady's way of putting the American president at ease. Without further ado, I would like to introduce my husband, the President of the United States, Barack Obama. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, I have to say, first of all, I don't like speaking after Michelle because she's very good. He may choose to underplay his speaking skills, but at this interaction at St. Xavier's College, America's youngest president had the audience eating out of his hands. His sincerity, humor, and charm hit all the right notes. The stage was set the minute the First Lady introduced the man who needed no introduction, egging on students to ask him some tough questions and keep him on his toes. Sure enough, the students didn't disappoint. What is his take or opinion about jihad? As she said, diplomatic his answers were, and it's quite understandable. The interaction lasted an hour and had all 300 students in the audience hanging on to his every word. I don't want any young person here. The biggest thing you can take away from meeting Obama, the president himself, is his vision. Because I don't think that there are many people um, in our generation or in the previous generation who have a vision like his. In spite of being like an Indian, you can associate so well with him. We got to shake hands with him. I don't think I'm washing my hands. I managed to get a picture as well. We were climbing chairs and he was just about to leave and we said, Sir, 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 we want a picture with you. So he said, No, I can't take a picture right now. I can't take. So he said, No, no, happy Diwali. At least shake hands. He said, Yes, of course. I love you guys. Some tough questions by students and some candid answers by the president. The Obamas bowled over the young gathering with their trademark eloquence and truly made it an afternoon to remember. In Mumbai with Ketki Angre, Miloni Bhatt for NDTV.